welcome back to Night View. I'm Nisha Ball. And I'm Joy Van Wheelie. Let's jump right in. This week was annual Apply to College Week. The CCC held a variety of activities, including a trivia contest and scholarship information sessions. Speaking of trivia, a few of our classmates decided to put our nights to the test. This is Yasin with Simple Question. So, what day of the week is uh, Thanksgiving usually on? Uh, not gonna lie, I don't know. Thursday. Thursday, America. Correct. What's something you can catch but never throw? <laughs> What's it called? A football? Um, a child? <laughs> no, it's a cold, sir. Huh? It's a cold, sir. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> what turkeys actually gobble, male or female? Neither. Trick question. They don't actually. They don't actually gobble. Um. Male turkeys. Correct. The day we were supposed to shoot, I felt a little bad and a little sick, so I had to get a friend of mine to help out with cooking with culture. Today, we're gonna make a Thanksgiving staple, mac and cheese. Hey everyone, welcome back to Cooking with Culture. I'm Cooper Bashaw, and I'm joined by... John and Isaac. Let's get it. The history of Thanksgiving was back in the day when the Pilgrims settled in Massachusetts, um, the Native Americans and the Pilgrims became friends and bonded over the holiday, sharing thanks and food together. Bacon Mac and Cheese is a Thanksgiving special. And to celebrate Thanksgiving, we'll be making Bacon Mac and Cheese. The ingredients that you'll need today are any type of mac and cheese. Today we're going to be using any white and cheddar shells and you'll need bacon bites. Boil six cups of water in a medium saucepan. Stir in pasta and cook eight to 10 minutes or until done, stirring occasionally. Drain pasta in colander while pasta is draining. Add three tablespoons low-fat milk to warm saucepan. Sprinkle cheese over milk, stir to combine. Add cooked pasta and stir well. And now to Finn with the Sports Splash. This is Sports Splash, and I'm your host, Finisella. Let's get right into it. Last Friday, girls varsity basketball started off their season with a great win against Noonan. Winning 38-18, boys varsity had a loss 63-53 against Noonan as well. Basketball is their next big game on Saturday at Roswell High School Tournament at 3 p.m. for the girls and 5 o'clock for the boys. Let's get an interview with senior Brian Edwards. How did you guys do last weekend? So we came away with a win. It wasn't our best game played, but still got the dub, so yeah. What are you guys' hopes for the season? Um, I'm hoping we can come together as a family, do good throughout the season, and come home with a ring. How do you think the new coaching staff has attributed to your guys' success? Um, I think it's helped the team because they've come in with a clear mind and clean slate and just picked their players based on pure talent so we can get the best team possible. And back to the news. I'm Finisella, this has been Sports Flash, and we'll see you guys next week. Hey Knights, and welcome to this episode of Can Spencer Do That? I'm Spencer Lieberman, and today we're going to be at the Midtown High School football field with Roswell Bond. Roswell was the kicker for the Midtown Knights football team this last season. He can hit field goals of 30 yards, 40 yards, and has hit a 61-yard field goal in practice. How do you think I'm going to do today? Well, given that you have no soccer background, it, it might be tough for you, but I'll give you a shot at maybe making an extra point. All right, we'll have to see. See you guys on the field. All right, so Roswell had me lace up my baseball cleats, and he set up the stand, and we started kicking. I had the height on this one, but I missed wide left. And then I missed even wider left. And things got so bad that he had to hold the ball for me, which didn't really help at all. The only kicking that happened today was us getting kicked off the football field. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, Roswell, what would you like to say about that performance? Um, well, you actually kind of surprised me out there. You hit the crossbar once, almost had one, but missed it left. You did a lot better than I was expecting you to do. All right, guys, well, final answer to the question, can Spencer kick field goals, is no. And for that matter, I can't even kick an extra point. Um, but it was close, almost had it. Roswell, is there anything you would like to say about the football team? Come out and join next year. Coach Howard love every single underclassman to come out and play. All right, guys, see you on the next one. It's been pretty cold outside this week. 
Let's go to Matthew to find out how low it'll get this weekend. Hello Midtown Knights, Matthew in here with your weekend forecast. So it's going to be mostly sunny with a few clouds. Friday of a high of 52 and a low of 29. Saturday a high of 53 and a low of 32. And Sunday a high of 49 and a low of 26. I'll be back next time with your weekend forecast. Remember to enjoy the weekend. This time of year, it's important to be thankful for what you have. And to give back to your community. If you have the time over Thanksgiving break, consider volunteering. There are plenty of local options like the Atlanta Food Bank, Habitat for Humanity, and Hands on Atlanta. The City of Atlanta Mayor's Office of International and Immigrant Affairs has an initiative called Welcoming Atlanta, where volunteers are needed for food distribution. Welcoming Atlanta is hosting a special Thanksgiving event, which you can learn more about in Schoology. Thank you so much for tuning in today, and have a great Thanksgiving. Signing out, I'm Joy Van Wheely. And I'm Nisha Ball. Bye. Bye. In this Thanksgiving season, what would you say that you are thankful for? Uh, I'm thankful for you know, being able to you know, not worry about anything, not worry about my next meal or anything, just being healthy all the way, always. What would you guys say that you are thankful for? My friend, Anthony. Yeah. Um, my parents. What would you say that you are thankful for? I'm really thankful for my friends and having a healthy body. Anything else? Um, a lot more, but I think those are the two main things. What would you say that you are thankful for? I'm thankful for my two cats and my pit bull. Anything else? My health and happiness. Cool, thank you.